Nearly 10 million pets go missing each year. Many of these dogs and cats end up in crowded shelters, especially during summer months in the south. Right now, our area shelters are over capacity. A nonprofit organization launched a free national lost and found pet database that uses patented image recognition technology to reunite lost pets with their owners. Joining me now to tell us more on how this technology works is Suzanne Kogut, president of Pekka Love. Good morning, friend. How are you? Good morning. How are you doing? So far, so good. So talk to us. This is a really exciting tool. More and more shelters across the country are using, uh, including our shelters here throughout the greater Houston area. How does it work? Yeah, this is this is fantastic. What we are trying to do is create that one single source, that central national lost and found database for pets. And the more pets, we like to say, the more that if they all go in, they will all go home. So we are integrated, as you said, with shelters throughout the country. Pets and shelters will come automatically into our database. We're also connected with social media platforms like Neighbors and Nextdoor. And then pet parents can put a photo of their pet in there, or if someone finds a pet, put a photo of their pet in there and our image recognition technology will make those matches and show you the photos of the pets that are either lost or found mm -hmm. that match that, that photo and are in your area. Suzanne, I had a question. So this story uh, aired this morning at six, then again in the seven o'clock hour, and it'll air a few times throughout the day. Uh, but one question that I'm getting from viewers, so pets, uh, obviously a lot of folks right now, they turn to social media, right? Facebook, hey, I lost my dog. Uh, will those photos, photos of lost pets be scanned through this technology or do they have to manually be uploaded into the technology uh, as of right now so each platform is different okay um, and so ne next door they'll be loaded we'll be loading them uh, uh, neighbors you'll get a notice to post them on there um, and we're currently working with Facebook on the right integration mm -hmm. there. okay that's good to know uh, I do know you want this to be the first line of defense right uh, you, people can do this now prophylactically before they lose their pet. So in the event that their pet does wind up lost in those moments of chaos, this is one less thing you have to do. Yeah, you could just go into our system and click a button. If you preload your photos of all your pets, put your information, your contact information. Gosh, I mean, can you imagine if yeah. your pet goes lost? You are in a frantic state with so much to do mm. here you can just go into the system push a button and it'll be automatically loaded i will say one of the things we've just added to is a persistent search meaning that if your pets in our database and maybe the match isn't there right away that someone hasn't found it it mm -hmm. hasn't gone into the shelter but it happens later we will continually search and provide notifications with pets that look like oh, your wow. pet so yeah. you can keep, you know, it will search constantly search for you. So it's not just one and done. It's constantly, it's continuously uh, getting updated with those searches. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you know, I mean, if you're a pet parent, you're automatically yeah. going to be looking constantly. <laughs> yeah. But if you found a pet, you may not be that diligent mm -hmm. to constantly, mm -hmm. you know, keep keep pushing and keep looking. So we'll help do that for you. That's a really great point. Talk to us about this technology. An another question that I've received from folks. Well, how do we know this technology is safe? How do we know our information isn't going to be shared or compromised? Yeah, we have the same type of systems to protect your personal information as, as large companies do. Mm -hmm. And so would you put your information into our system? Number one, we're never going to share it with anyone. In fact, it's up to you to share it with the person that may have found your pet. There's a lot of different things going on. And, or if you found a pet, you may want to ask questions. Make sure that's the pet parent. That's the right pet. Our system allows you to chat with one another in the system, and then you can personally decide to share your own information. We don't do that for you. How many uh, local shelters are, are using this right now? 
17 local shelters in the in the Houston wow. area. And you know, I think that's a good point also, Zach. I mean, a lot of people don't know what their local shelter is. There's yeah. a lot of different shelters. Mm -hmm. You don't know where there's those jurisdictional lines happen. If all of those shelters are participating in our system, you can just search our system instead of searching every shelter too. Wow, that's really incredible. That's really awesome. Uh, I do also know, you know, while we're encouraging people to uh, prophylactically, if you will, go on there and create a profile for your pet, this is just supplemental to other things that you must do as a responsible pet owner, right? And that's microchipping, spay and neuter, being mindful of those things as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, microchipping is your personal identification for your pet. The reason we did this system is we wanted it to be free, easily accessible by everyone, even finders who may not know about microchips. They don't own pets. They may not have heard of a microchip, but if they post the pet here, it's available to them. Mm -hmm. Half of the pets that are entering shelters are lost or stray. We want to make sure we're keeping those pets out of shelters yeah. but you know the number one thing that people can do too is also like you said make sure your pets are spayed and neutered um, because if your pet goes missing you don't want to cause an accident yeah. litter um, and make more shelter pets because we need to find the ones that are their homes not create new ones yeah uh, for people who are interested in using this tool this new solution they can head on over to petcolovelost.org really simple URL. Uh, for people not familiar with Petco Love Foundation, uh, tell us a little bit about the foundation. Yeah, Pe Petco Love, we're actually celebrating our 25 year anniversary. And our goal really is, you know, to make sure that shelter pets are not euthanized, mm -hmm. all pets are re reunited, and we increase access to veterinarian care for pet parents who can't afford it. Um, we've invested over $400 million into these causes, a lot of that going to your local shelters. Um, and we've also, you know, we have a, a free vaccine campaign where we've done over two and a half million free vaccines to make sure pets don't get very preventable diseases. You know, that's really, that's a great reminder. And I'm so glad that you, you brought this up. Uh, you know, Sully, my St. Bernard, who's going to be 12 next month. He just had a vet appointment on Friday and that vet bill for one appointment to, for his annual checkup, senior citizen blood work panel and his heartworm cost me $830. And it just reiterated to me, this is why we're, this is a, a, contributing, a contributing factor to the crisis we're seeing. And, and that's pet ownership is not affordable. So, you know, if, if you are struggling, know that there are, there are avenues, there are resources, there are solutions that can help you uh, alleviate some of that financial burden. But it is, it's, 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 it's tough. It's really, really tough. But veterinary care has has increased through the years and you know that's the the vaccines number one that's the number one thing people should do is mm -hmm. first try to prevent anything from happening vaccines are fairly inexpensive um, but then you know seek other resources i would check your local animal welfare organizations and they'll usually have a listing of what's available in your area yeah Okay, all good information as always. We so much appreciate your time and the work that you guys do every day. Thanks a lot.